So in the previous part, I showed you how you can get data from a website. In this part, we would be parsing that data and trying to get some useful information from it, like the title, what was the status code, whether it was redirected or not, and some like the body, what was the size of the body, all those kind of stuff. And we'll try to write that data into a file. I'll get the top 100 websites. We have a, we have a website which collects the top 1 million website. We'll get the top 100 from that and then We'll try to get data from those 100 websites and write it into a file. With that said, let's get started. So here's uh, another thing I forgot to mention in the previous part, you need to install request library that I imported here itself. I will show you the code here, import requests. So for this, you need to just run this command pip3 install requests so because it's already there so i don't need to install it again then we i need to install beautiful soup it's another library so libraries are what makes python very easy to work with the the library for a lot of different kinds of stuff like beautiful soup is a library to get the pass the html data for the website and then make something useful out of it like uh, reading this article, they mentioned that uh, you need to get the request. Then from there, just to get the soup, you need to create a soup. Soup is what uh, you can use as a pass data and then work on around that. So, so let's let me just create a soup here. Response.txt uh, from BS4 import beautiful soup. And to print the title, I just need to let me title and soup dot title. I think there's the soup dot title as well. String. I think we can. I think this also works fine. Let me just try to run this. Python three web scanner. No module name. Okay. Shall be a mm. So you might see that it's stall it, it it is installing again. This happened because uh, I don't think I have it log here, but okay. This happened because this pip3 install, it was installing it in Python 3.8. Whereas if I see the Python 3 version, it's Python 3.9.2. So what I did was I did Python 3 hyphen app pip then install bs4. So hyphen app is basically running a module. So pip is a module. So I tried to run it using this pipe Python 3. This is something that would be very rare that you would have to use it, but I mean, because I have struggled a lot in these like scenarios, so I know that okay, this is how things work, and this is how UD works. So yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah. So you can see this title as a seam stray. So that's the website title. Let's try to get this website geeks for geeks. Uh, so let's replace this with a variable called URL and URL. URL equal to this. Now, title is Geeks for Geeks, a computer science portal for geeks. Yep. That's pretty much it. Now, let's try to maybe clean, clean this up, uh, clean this code a bit. Uh, before we do that, let's try to iterate over a few websites and see how we can use a loop to do that. So, let me just put URLs and here let me add HTTPS. Google, sorry, google.com. Uh, Facebook.com. HTTPS. Asimstray.com. Let's say there are these many websites. So, what I have to do is I want to do the same thing for all of these. So, let me just cut this one. Right for URL in URLs. Uh, you need to indent it properly, so I'm just selecting all and pressing tab to shift it to the right. 
Now what it would do is it would go over each of these URLs one by one and add it to a variable called URL which would again get passed to this and then we would see the output here. So let's see like this. Title Geeks for eScience Portal, exception getting header. We could not figure out what the website is powered by. Error 400. Uh, yeah, exception getting is powered by. I think also, I should also print out which URL it's. Uh, so this would print which URL is working on. Let me add www.google.com. I don't know why it's, it's stuck. It shouldn't be, but let's see what happens. Okay. Port unknown, host, okay. I added one extra W there, so. Mm, yeah, URL is geeks for geeks. Exception getting added. Okay, URL is google.com. Headers are these, exception getting header, URL is facebook.com and you see that it gets stuck there for a while. So what you should ideally do is add a timeout here, timeout equal to let's say um, 5 seconds. So what it does is, it, it, if, if the website doesn't give a response in 5 seconds, it would just stop the request and skip it up. So let me add something to it for here. Just making it beautiful, nothing, nothing that you want. Yeah. URL, 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 URL. So there's some error here during handling of the exception. The read operation timed out. Some read timeout is happening. So what we should do is, as I've told you earlier as well, just move this try header to the top and capture the whole thing as a single action. This is not the proper way to do it, but we'll still be doing it. <laughs> Exception, getting error, connection, or spool. We should pro actually the proper ways to capture each of these exceptions and then print it out. So that's pretty much it, how you can get these data from this. Suppose there's like hundreds of requests, so like you would be going each or each of these URLs one by one to to fasten that up, we will be using multi-threading that will be coming up in the next few parts. For now, let's try to get the top 1 million website list. That's from here. This is the Cisco umbrella 1 million and it's powered by Cisco.com. So Cisco umbrella 1 is a free list of top 1 million most popular domains. This project came from our most recent hackathon. So earlier there used to be this thing called Alexa top million websites that has been discontinued very, discontinued very recently. Now get the Cisco umbrella uh, 1 million. So this this 1 million request, how it's being calculated. It mentioned that the popularity list contains our most queried domains based on passive DNS usage across our umbrella global network of more than 100 billion requests per day with 65 million unique active users in more than 165 countries. Unlike Alexa, the metric is not based on only browser-based HTTP requests from users, but rather takes into account the number of unique client IPs invoking this domain. So here you can get this top 10 million. Uh, I don't think you require the whole thing, but let's see. So we have downloaded this. I would just copy it here. Downloads top 1 million dot zip here. And you can see here in this the folder there is the unzip top 1 million zip. RM top dot zip. We are removing it. And you see that there, there, there's one million of these lines and you can see that. So we'll just take the top 100, let's say Akamai.net, just copy it to another file, top100.csv. So there's this number, then there's netflix.com and all, all these kind of things. So you can see that a few of things that you would easily get to look is that Netflix.com is the top one. Then there's FTL.netflix.com, prod.ftl, API Global Netflix. So maybe wanting to just get the top domain name, not the all the subdomains of it for this part, but I'll show you how you can filter that out later. For this part, let's go on with this. Uh, 
so for this next thing we need to know how to read a file so let me try to show you we can close this like this um, read a file so reading a file is very simple with open whatever file name is top 100.csv you can uh, add a read flag as f data data equal to f dot read you can also use read lines so that would just create a list which would have all these 100 lines let's try to print data for now let's comment this out so select all command and control forward slash it will just comment out and let's try to run this so you, oh i think i forgot to save it yeah. now it should just print out so yeah you can see that there's this all these things so what we would want to ideally do is uh, just i prefer read and then try to split like if i print it now it would just print one whole thing it's just one string not a split string so what i prefer to do is data equal to data or let's say i create another variable lines equal to data dot split and split on split on new lines because that's what these in the end of this there's a new line that like makes the string to print on the new line so now we have length of lines is basically how many lines are there and if you want you can also print the lines as well now let's try this 100 lines and see there's no new line here otherwise uh, earlier yet, we used to have this backslash and when we were just using read lines so yeah that's a quick trick that you would want to now what we want to do is we want to iterate over these line in lines and split line dot split comma and we want to get the first element so what this means is it would split this netflix.com like let me show you we split this into one netflix.com these these would be two different strings i will show you how this would look and then because we are uh, picking the first element so it would pick this one so if i just print this one so yeah see graph.facebook.com all these different urls are there let me just this is not required so we get all the domains we'll try to use this instead of the urls let's comment this out remove this we'll create this as a url variable so basically this is getting the netflix part of it i prefer to comment this out so that you can understand what the code is doing so we are choosing this one url is this now let's try to url Okay, so no schema supplied. Perhaps we meant HTTP. So what's happening right now? It's just giving Netflix.com. So we need to add a HTTPS or HTTP something like that. So let's say HTTPS. This is a proper way to handle this as well. Uh, this is not what we're gonna do. So HTTPS Netflix.com. It's trying to go through each of these. So title Netflix India. Watch TV shows. Ah, uh, let me just one second. Let me just. getting content let, let's remove this let's remove this as well we're just printing out the title now it would be cleaner in the output that's right now you are netflix.com title netflix india watch tv shows movies online fkl.com there would be something or it, it might not have a title so it would just skip out uh, connection pool yeah uh, maximum it has exceeded with URL caused by new connection error, but not established. So maybe this this doesn't respond to this same like get request or things like that. Title Microsoft Cloud Computer Apps. Title Google.com is the same thing. Exception getting new getting header. 
outlook your live.com outlook free personal email so it would continue with this we'll wait and then we'll see the whole 100 urls so you can see that this 100 urls it's is taking a lot of time and let's say we had to scan the 1 million urls then it would take a whole lot of time so i'll show you in the next part first to get the unique domains instead of all the subdomains and then we'll try to what to say we'll try to optimize it by using multi threading so maybe even if you don't understand what multi threading is i'll try to explain in a brief and then show you how the code works on that that's it thank you have a nice day